Check out this chick I met up in the Northern Territory. Awesome, right? She's too hairy. What do you mean she's too hairy? Too hairy. She's not too hairy. I think I like that hairstyle. She's got sideburns, Stevie. You're too finicky, man. She's got a good attitude, though. Plus, she's got to have a little hair. She's got to stay warm up there. It's chilly. Yeah, well, you'd pork a knot hole in a fence. I guess so. Ah, Steelbird. Yo, Steelbird, what's going on? Where are you, man? Stevie, can you hear me? Stevie? Yeah, I know. What's going on? Where are you? How come you're not here? Yeah, I know. I just threw my back out, man. I'm at the physical therapist. Oh, hold on a second. Happy ending. $50. Tu buco. Tu buco. Cofote. Stevie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevie. Yes. Stevie, listen. You remember Andrew from Comeback Kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, now he's in a kick-ass band called Sights and Sounds, and he agreed to do an interview. Very cool. Right on. That's good stuff. But... It's as a personal favor to me, okay? How on earth do you know Andrew from Sights and Sounds? Actually, I don't know him. I just met him here at the physical therapist. Apparently, he's got a kink he's got to get rubbed out, if you know what I'm saying. Ugh. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good. But hey, here's the deal. He's only going to do the interview on the download. We got to do it guerrilla style, okay? If his people find out he does this, you know, we're all toast. It's not a problem. It's no big. We can keep it kind of QT. All right, good. Is Eric there? Yeah, he's right here. Eric. Eric! What? Huh? Ah, that's it right there. That's the spot, baby. Uh, Eric, listen to me. Are you listening? Yeah, this I'm listening. This interview has to be gorilla style. Oh, gorilla style. You know what I'm saying? I got it. You gotta do it gorilla style. Do you understand? What the f did I just say? I understand. Say it back. It's a gorilla style shoot. Shoe? Shoot! Shoe? Take that thing out of your mouth. It's a gorilla style. Shoot. All right, good. Oh, all right, I gotta go. I gotta get this kink rubbed out. Talk to you later. Oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's the spot. Rub right there, baby. Oh, God! Put out the garbage! Put out the garbage! Oh, f***ing weirdo. I don't know who the f he's kidding. He certainly ain't too buku. <laughs> Check this one out. Two polar bears. F is that real? Of course it is. Awesome. <laughs> This is Stevie Solace and welcome to Arbor Live. Tonight our show features the brand new band formed by Comeback Kids' Andrew Newfeld. They're called Sights and Sounds. We also have the funk, rock, blues, soul hybrid vocalist Bernard Fowler and his band, the International Mother You heard it right, the IMFs and the very soulful Janet Panic. So buckle up, sit back, and let's do this thing called Arbor Live. Everybody always 
Look, Steelbird told me we're shooting gorilla style today, and you can't get any more gorilla than this. For sake, Eric. Gorilla, not gorilla. What's the difference? Gorilla, like gorilla style. You know, like gorilla. You mean like, uh, like Mexican gorillas? <sighs> Listen to me, you jackass. Go get out of this suit now before somebody walks to that door and thinks we're all a bunch of idiots. Please? I didn't bring anything else to wear. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Jag off. <laughs>
Follow me, because I'm getting. I'm gonna get into some shoe talk and all kinds. Of okay, okay, so that'll be you. Can you do that? Yeah. Going up and down and all that. Cool. I'll tell you when. Yeah. Or I may not. Just be on your toes. Good. While you're sitting. Yeah, your toes, but don't be on these toes, because ow. <laughs> this is interview Janet Panic. Hey, this is Stevie Salas on Arbor Live, sitting with Miss Janet Panic. <laughs> Janet is one of my favorite Canadians. She always has a smile. She always knows where the good times are. And she wears incredible shoes. Check out these shoes. Janet, let me show these. Look at these. My God. I picked up these shoes in Berlin a couple months ago, and I thought they were pretty cool, right? They're rare, I bet, eh? A little rare. A little rare. If I see anybody wearing them, I'm going to kill them. But these shoes, oh my God, how did you perform in those shoes? Carefully. Were you a little nervous, all shaky? I, I, did, I did hit the, hit it a few times. 
Man, I'm so glad I'm a man and not a woman, but I think that you have to do this. Sacrifices have to be made in the name of fashion. Yeah, like I look at Dolly Parton and I see her go from one shoe to another and I know why. The, she's in pain and that's why she's going from one foot to the other. I thought it was just because she had to lift each no, chichi no, up. No, it's mm. pain. It's full pain. <laughs>
Dude, that was so awesome. Hey, Yo, Steelbird said we're gonna shoot this gorilla style, man. We are, with the, the interview. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna get cameras and we're gonna shoot it real edgy and grainy, like moving. Yeah, 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 no, I don't give a about that. Where's the gorilla suit? The gorilla, gorilla style, gorilla suit? You want me to wear the gorilla suit? Yeah. I, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Yeah, yeah of course, right. of course, absolutely, man, man. No problem, so hold on one second. All right. Down, baby. It's underneath. That, that. Hey, this is Stevie Solis, and on the Arbor Live soundstage today, I have Andrew and Joel from the band Sights and Sounds. What's happening, dudes? Just hanging out, man. It's chilling. Maxon. I gotta tell you, man, that set was outstanding. Uh, is this this is a brand new band for you? Uh, we've been a band for about two years, but uh, just kind of started, uh, you know, getting a little bit more serious in the last year. We have a record out now, uh, full length out. So since then, it's been kind of a little bit more taking up a little bit more of my time. <laughs> People out there don't know, Andrew is in a really, really world famous band called Comeback Kid. 
Yeah. World famous. I think you guys are world famous. I mean, I see you guys playing in Germany and Australia and all over the world. So for me, I think they're one of my favorite. Would you call that music emo music? No, not at all. Because I, I, I would really, hate that, actually. Yeah, because you you're, you're not even on any. It's depressants. hardcore music. Hardcore, there you go. Because you're not even on any depressants, right? <laughs> what? You're not on any antidepressants, right? Uh, not right now, no. Okay, so cause I think with emo music, don't you have to be on antidepressants? <laughs> and probably you have to have a, the shoe pair like that. Hey, hey guys, well, I'm, I'm burning up in here. I, w I want to try to keep Andrew, I promised Andrew I would do this in a gorilla suit, but I'm, I'm burning up. Can I just take the head yeah, off? Yeah, you can do that. <sighs> Better? That? Mm -hmm. Still looks good. Hey, I want to do, I'm so, I want to try to do it right for you, because yeah, I know thanks. how you feel about these things. Thanks. <laughs> God, I can tell you, I was suffocating in there. Yeah, but that gorilla head brought out the color in your eyes, man. You really think so? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'll remember that next time. I need some beauty tips at my age. Hit me now! been a member of the Rolling Stones for about 22 years, something like that. And uh, they ask me dates, I'm not very good at them. Yeah, Bernard's the kind of guy they, they call him in to come in and, and fatten up all the vocal sounds on a lot of records. But the thing that makes you so versatile, what I think about is, is one session you'll be working with Motorhead or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Then you'll go do Herbie Hancock or... Well, there was a song on Alice Cooper's uh, latest record where he wanted Ozzy to sing. So I think Sharon Osbourne was giving him a hard time, so he was like, well, I really wanted Ozzy. And I said, wait, I'll do this for you. I went to the bathroom, put some tissue in my nose, said, rotate. He was floored. He said, I cannot believe that you did that. He said, I guess we don't need Ozzy.
the gods smiling on me is my little world. All that it takes are the gods smiling on me. Or are they laughing? You know, you come off very beautiful and very elegant, and then you sing these songs that are that are pretty raunchy. Or good to be a, a bit of a yin and yang. It's a bad girl there. singing about her life. I got a, a little bit of a dark side there, I'd say. I just want to tell the truth. Like once it's, I tell the truth, it's out there and belongs to everybody. <laughs> I have a lot of people come up to me and say, yeah, I feel exactly like that, yeah, yeah. Actually, at home, uh, I often get that, there goes the lousy wife lady. Yeah, right? <laughs> Were you actually ever married? Yeah. Were I, you a lousy wife? No, I was a great wife, but it was kind of when, when my marriage was breaking up and I was saying, hey, I'm not so bad, but it was just kind of a na 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 kind of reaction to the whole destruction of my marriage. And a, and a song called I'm a Great Wife wouldn't be such a cool song, I don't think. Because it, it connects to the women. We were trying so hard to make things right for everybody, and so women feel that, like, yeah, I was trying really hard, but it, it all went to hell. And yeah, but now you got these shoes, and with these shoes, you've got a weapon. So you've got another way out this next time. Just take that shoe off and... And, and what, hammer a nail into the floor? <laughs> Whatever you gotta do with it. <laughs> all I know is I wouldn't mess with you with those things, huh? Those things are dangerous. <laughs> Do you have a new album coming out? I got a new record out called Out on a Limb. It's coming out, I guess, soon, hopefully. Now, the video's fantastic. I've heard the video's great. Because he's in it. I've seen some of it, yes. And the guy it's playing guitar over. is like quite fantastic, I think. It's uh, my video starring Stevie Salas, actually. No, that's not really true, what happened. <laughs> what happened was Janet bamboozled me. I was in a studio one time, and she was working with uh, Derek Miller, and I happened to poke my head in, and they said, hey, can you do this real quick? And I just grabbed the guitar, and I did this. The next thing I know, I am on this fantastic Janet Panic record. I'm very lucky, actually. Playing a backward soul. People go, whoa, what's that? Oh, is that backwards? That's awesome. And he did it in like one take. Just when, it, when they're like this. Doesn't everybody do it in one take? One take. Doesn't, That's good. Switch doesn't everybody around. do it that way, one take? That's just the only way I've ever known. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's weird being interviewed by you. It's awkward. Not for me. Yeah, no? OK, it's weird. It's, we just sit around and talk and bullshit all the time. And do, like to do a formal interview, it's like, this is weird. All my interviews are sitting around talking anyways. But it is weird sitting here formally discussing this with you, I gotta tell you. As opposed to sitting around being disgusting like we normally yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you have it. <laughs> Janet Panic, check her out. Hey.
So the new band is a little bit more epic sounding, I would say. Uh, maybe a little, is it a little less aggressive, but it's very heavy, mm -hmm. uh, but a lot more of a grandiose epic uh, chord progressions and such. Yeah. What, what's your concept? Uh, that's kind of the, the concept. I mean, we, we have the, you know, the band, which is just, you know, the drums and guitars and the kind of standard rock band uh, set up. But then we uh, wanted to add a lot more layers onto it. And we were able, able to achieve that, uh, you know, just through like working in the studio a lot and just, and, you know, playing with, uh, you know, kind of these kind of ambient sounds and uh, just kind of having fun with it and just building upon the already structured songs. And then from this, we can, you know, go on and do a lot of different things. And all our songs are always going to, kind of be different and all the records are going to sound different so that's kind of the, just musicians trying to do it you know and just like do what we, whatever we want so musicians trying to be musicians and what a concept right yeah what a concept not, it's like you're not allowed to anymore right once you come up with a sound that somebody buys a few records and a record company wants you to just keep pounding that same thing that same it's, record yeah i think that it's going to take more guys like you being adventurous like this to, to help change music and open it up i think that's a great thing yeah i hope so i mean yeah, i just want to kind of try new things so. <laughs> All right, that's well. All right, that's Andrew and Joel from Music it's for Sights and Sounds. Sights and Sounds. <laughs> sake. All right, that's Andrew and Joel from Sights and Sounds. Check them out; they're definitely epic. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the interview. Hey, uh, by the way, I thought we were gonna do this gorilla style. Remember, like with the cameras and the scratch, and they're all just, they're just static. But I, I'm wearing the gorilla suit. Yeah, 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 of course. But we were talking about, you know, Steelbird said we're going to do it gorilla style with the cameras. Now they're just like static. Just like, look. But, but I wore the gorilla suit like you wanted. I mean, isn't that what you were talking about? Yeah, yeah, no, that's all good. But we were talking gorilla style. Steelbird said gorilla style with the cameras. Like, the, gorilla, you know, the gorilla shit. style shooting, yeah. right? I'll be like, all right, I can make that happen. Yeah.